Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am going to talk to you about the play blankets that I've been making. Now, you know there's baby blankets, there's afghans, there's um, double size bed, single size bed, um, king size. Um, but I have been making this uh, particular size of blanket, which I sort of came up with um, and I am calling it a play blanket. Now my play blanket is a square blanket and it is it is like you know you could use it as a single bedspread it will go on the bed obviously it won't cover the whole bed because it's square so it won't uh, go down the whole length but it's more like I said, a play blanket. So it's for when the children are playing. It's for when they're watching telly and they get a little bit cold. It's for when they're ill and they want to have a comfort blanket uh, over them. It's for when they're in the car and they fall asleep. It's for playing in their den outside somewhere, uh, you know, something like that. So it's a proper play uh, blanket, uh, not meant really for just putting on the bed, but meant for being used. Um, and this year, I have made about six of them already. Um, my family has been <laughs> extended quite a bit. Uh, quite a few babies. Uh, two babies were born a week apart um, and each of the, in two families. And they already had children. So I decided not only to make two baby blankets for the new baby, so proper baby blanket size. I decided to make um, the big brother and sister and the new babies a play blanket each. So that meant I was making four play blankets, um, sort of like at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were invited to somebody's wedding and they already had a child. So I thought, well, he deserves a present too. So I made him a play blanket. So that was a fifth one. <laughs> and now I'm working on my sixth one because my husband's goddaughter, of course, has to have one as well. So um, I asked her, you know, I told her I would make her a blanket and um, I asked her for the colours and yeah <laughs> so she wanted purple and then she said and pink um, <laughs> so these are the colours I'm working with at the moment the play blankets have always been about just about the same pattern so two rows of double crochet a row of granny clusters two rows of double crochet a row of granny clusters and so on um, I'll put some pictures of the play blankets that I've made, so not all of them were the same. So as you can see, uh, some of the play blankets were just a granny squares. Most of them were this because this is what I really like. Um, here, I'm doing this row always in uh, wisteria, um, while in other blankets I've done them, you know, different colours. So if you have an uneven number, then it always changes um, depending on which colour you're doing. So. That's uh, my setup. Now, I wanted to film this now. Obviously, I've only just started, but I wanted to film this now so I can show you the progress. I will keep you updated on this blanket as I do more on it. Also, um, the way I did this is I chained 150. Now, 150 is a nice number. You you remember my um, the blanket that I'm doing my um, leftover blanket, uh, that granny uh, stripe, that is 200 stitches. And I have to say, although, I mean, I don't mind, uh, obviously, um, 200 is a long, <laughs> a long round. So 150 is quite manageable. And I then crochet or I do l r lines until when you 
um, fold it over. So when you do this, when you fold it corner to corner like that, when you do that, and obviously not now because look, this is how much more I have to do, obviously. Uh, but if you do that, then and and your end ends there, then that's when the blanket is finished. So when it is a proper square, okay. So I will have to do quite a few. Uh, <laughs> Uh, rounds here a rows to before I can actually start folding it over and see how many more I need to do once I have done that I put a border around as well for this uh, particular blanket I am using a Starcraft special DK which is my favorite sort of um, you know go to wool or go to yarn um, and yes so because um, she said purple and pink. I've chosen these colours, Wisteria, Violet, Fuchsia, Fuchsia Purple, Boysenberry, Emperor. And then I've put some Meadow Ready as well because I wanted an extra pop of colour which was different from the purple and the, and the uh, pink. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it yet. So these are the colours that I have chosen. And... I'm using a 3.5 hook, although um, it says a 4. I crochet quite uh, loosely, so I need the uh, the 3.5 to make it a little bit tighter. So like I said, I chained 150 chains. Oops, yeah, 150 chains. Then at the end of my chain, I chained another 2. And then I turned around and I did a uh, double crochet in each chain and I pick up two bits of that uh, chain. So you only have one little uh, leg, I think they call them, uh, left for doing, the, for doing the border. But I find that that way uh, your, your chain doesn't sort of... Um, pull out it stays together nicely while you're doing it so then I did 150 uh, double crochets going one way and then I came back and I completed the second round then it's time to start changing colors and I then chose a color you know from the ones that I've decided to make this blanket in and then I did two double crochets in the first opening here or one is a chain and then another one in the first opening and then you skip two stitches and then you do three double crochets in the third stitch and again skip two three double crochets in the third stitch you do all the way and then at the end you will see that you have two stitches left so I just put I skip one stitch and I put a double crochet in the last stitch then you chain up you turn round and you do an, a, the same thing as before you do another double crochet next to that chain skip that first cluster and go in between the clusters to do your other clusters of the next row and then once you're at the end of that row you start again with doing your double crochets making sure that you don't forget to do one in that last chain that you do because you need to make sure that your ends stay nice and straight like so and now I am just continuing working on this blanket um, like I said I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do that green as a line I might just do it as the border as well I think that would look nice because I will explain to her then that it's like a field of purple flowers with the green uh, of the leaves around it or something like that um, so I have to have this ready by Christmas and I'm sure I will be able to manage that um, so yeah I'll be keeping um, you updated on how far I get and what it looks like uh, towards the end because what I do find is at the beginning I'm always a little bit sort of 
you know, I don't really like it. Uh, but once you start seeing the repetition of the colours, that's when it becomes a lot nicer to look at. And that when your eyes um, are sort of, it, it's softer to look at than uh, at the moment. It's rather harsh, I find anyway, because you can't really tell what it's going to look like yet. But this is the kind, when she said purple and pink, I think this is the kind of idea I had in mind sort of one purple that keeps coming back and then other purples to go in there and then this uh, a pinkish and this one here is 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 rather pinkish as well so that will be a good one to put um next so yeah I hope um you <laughs> I hope you like this uh, video give me a thumbs up if you did and yeah watch out for more of these of my um in a play blanket series almost um, and I'll see you later. Bye!